Morning, everybody. Morning. Excuse me looking away. The screen is so far away. I've got my hands free today. Uh, I've got my phone on the tripod and it's just a little bit too far to read the comments on the phone. So I'm reading them down here. Well, that is good news, Sue. Had my second monitoring appointment, all clear, in remission. That's the sort of news that we want to start the day. Brilliant. Brilliant well done. Sue. Brilliant. Well done. So who have we got on here? John Riley. Hi, John. John is from uh, Sussex, UK. Debbie, tell us where you're from. Uh, Sue is also in the UK. Can't remember which part, but in the UK. Um, Eileen is Birmingham. Birmingham, UK. Anne, I don't know where you're from. But Anne is sitting at the back of the group. Yeah. Not worthy to come and sit at the front, yeah? What do you, what do you mean, back of the She's group? She's missed so many meetings. Oh, I see. <laughs> Michelle. Hiya, how you doing, Michelle? You like the flamingos? Yeah, they were right the other side of the lake, or... <laughs> don't really want to call it a lake. It's, a it's a, like a big pond. Um, and they just wouldn't raise their heads. And believe it or not, I was shouting out at them, I was calling them, and they would not look up the miserable blighters. <laughs> but there we are. Uh, is that Ev or Eve? Ev, M in Ontario. Good morning. Down under, down under Don from the Antipodes. <laughs> oh, never going to forget that, Don. <laughs> uh, morning to you, Michelle. We're both looking well. Well, looks can be deceiving, can't they? Heather, good morning, Heather. Uh, Heather is in Canada and she has set her alarm to be here with us, which is really kind of her. And so Ray what time and Ray, is it there? In, it's going to be about six or seven in the morning. Oh dear. Probably. Bless you, Heather. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Ray, Rachel from Israel. Good morning to you two too. Two too. <laughs> Hope you're okay with everything that's going on out there. We still watch it in the news and... It's just going on far too long, isn't it? But... And Judy, quizzes in USA, Cambridge, Massachusetts. Judy Schultz, good morning to both of you. Sharon, from a very rainy Pasco County. Oh, golly. Lovely to hear the word Pasco County, isn't it? Long time. We used to live in Pinellas County. Pasco was our next door neighbour and uh, we did a lot of, well, we had a lot of friends that lived in Pasco. Uh, so where am I up to now? Miss Sue, hi, Ray and Rachel. Michelle from Derbyshire. Oh, local. Wendy from Ormond Beach in Florida. Now that's a beach I don't know, so I guess that must be on the Miami oh, side, O-R-M-O-N-D. I, I would imagine that's on the Miami side, probably south of Miami. South? North of Miami. Let me know if I'm right. <laughs> Wendy, Re oh, what was Wendy? Jenny, you're both looking fabulous, especially you, Dave, from Adelaide, South Australia. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> you are terrible. Boxy. Don't make him. You give him. He's already yeah. got the big head. He doesn't need to be told that. <laughs> Morning, Foxy. Nice to see you on here, mate. Uh, oh, goodness me. Morag McGee. 
have a great day going to have to go visit husband in hospital heart attack on thursday oh grief that's not the news you want to hear no. well, hope everything's okay with him and uh, if he's in hospital he's going to get the best care isn't he so let's just keep you in our thoughts and prayers Jean Phillips hello Dave and Sally from Massachusetts so that's two from Massachusetts so far trying wines 4 a.m. in Vancouver hi Glenn who was Glenn I've missed someone Olga I missed you as well and Mohammed uh, so Olga special greetings to you and yeah since our last conversation olga is yes, used to live in st petersburg yeah, but she's not there in anymore, russia no. now lives in ukraine yeah been thinking ever such a lot about the situation you're in it says a lot it says a lot about you um living in the country that your home country is at war with yeah. um yeah admiration glenn is is that glenn from uh, vancouver mm, no i can't see a glenn on here oh. I, I must have missed it but anyway uh athena from cyprus a lovely name sandra meredith in australia uh Sarah Keith, good morning, Sarah. How are you? Michelle Evans, Where's yes, Sarah done from? you. Don't know. Uh, they seem to be just popping in. So, Mohammed, hello to you. I do enjoy looking at your posts. You put up fabulous photographs of, around Alexandria and so on, and you always look so smart and official. In Ermgard <laughs> from Melbourne, Hazel in New Zealand, Patricia from Telford, oh, another local. That's, I don't know if I've Telford. told you this before, yeah. That's where Pudding, That's comes, where from. pudding comes from. That's where he was um, born and so on. Uh, you come from Telford, don't you, mate? Yes, you do. Anne says she loves the sound of the clock. You can hear the clock. I'm really surprised at that. If I'm, if I'm missing, I think we've got anybody. used to it. We we don't hear it as much as we did because it's. Right, it's so just Sue, there lives, all the time. Sue lives in London. Oh my goodness me. Um, Moderator, yes, him. Please just remind me how to pronounce your name, will you? It's not yes, him, it's yes, him. Yeah. It'll come up in a minute. Loving your shirt, David. Oh, hello, mate. Come put your head up so they can see you. There He's you very go. scruffy at the moment. Hopefully, I'm going to get him clipped this week. I think I've found a new groomer. Now, Yeshim says that you are perfectly coordinated with me. Well, I can't see any flowers on her. Where's, well, no, the, co where's I... the coordination? <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, it, the coordination is it's it's a, a, a less of the colour that's not going to take away the, uh, the shirt. You've got flipping dragons on that thing. Angel Travel 5 is from the Netherlands. Lovely to see you. I was following you from the beginning of the cruise. I take it you mean the Japanese cruise, <laughs> the famous international COVID cruise. Yeah, because we've done a few since then. And now I've got other quarantines on that cruise. Yeah. But what about the cruise that's got cholera? That, that is that is diamond. Oh yeah, it's on diamond it's as well. It's the same, it? same cholera person. outbreak. Can cholera you outbreak this? on the same ship that we it's were on. It's seven oh four in Ontario at the moment. Oh, well, that's not too bad. But it is Sunday. 
Michelle likes your sparkly jumper, Sally. Yeah, I've Thank loaned you. it to her. Oh, yeah. Uh, <coughs> loaned it to me. It's pronounced yes. The second time you said it, it was perfectly pronounced. Yes, shim. Is that it? Yes, shim. How do you spell it? Y E S I M. Yes, him. Just say yes or no. Yes, him. Yes, him or yes, him. Yes, him. Miss Sue, was Louise? No idea. Kathy Hendrickson, hello from Minnesota. We had a house fire last week. Our, our Smeg dishwasher. What's a Smeg? Smeg is the make of dishwasher. Never heard of that. Yeah. The dishwasher caught fire. Grief. Well, so much damage to the house. I mean, is it, was it, were you able to contain it without it spreading? I don't know. Oh, you're not asking me, you're asking me. No, I'm asking me. you. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it was, and I hope nobody was hurt or... But you do realise, yes, Jim, you're going to have to remind me again next month because my memory is absolutely well, terrible. Yes, right. uh, Sally, you look great. I love your hair that length now. How are you enjoying your new home? There you go. You can answer it's that. It's a lot easier. I haven't got the stairs. Um, I don't have a dishwasher. So that's the one thing that I've had for years and years and I've never had never been without one since the children were quite young and I don't have a dishwasher but it's uh there's only the two of us so and we don't really entertain do we so no we're very antisocial. well it's not that but if somebody's gonna come it's gonna be one person or we haven't got space for a lot of people anyway no. but yeah I, it's it's much easier so Yeshim had a lot of damage in the kitchen, smoke damage throughout the house. Hi Mohammed, how are you? Oh, right, has anybody been following the Sun Princess, their inaugural cruise? It's a massive ship. Uh, I, I've been following not just the cruise, but some of the passengers that are on the cruise and we're sort of debating whether it would be right for us to be on there. I think it's Sally too thinks big. it's too big. Well, it, it, you, did you tell me it's about 5,000 yeah. passengers? And then you've got the crew on top. That's an awful lot of people on a ship. That's too many, I think. I mean, Sky Princess is about my limit. Which is about, what's that, two and a half, three thousand? Yeah, something like that. But another two thousand on top of that. Oh, grief. I'm Kathy from old. Ontario, love your outfits you're wearing. Love the Icon Princess. Icon Princess? I'm not, I don't know that one. No. I think you mean I can of the seas. I cannot. I can. Icon of, of the, the seas. seas, which is Royal Caribbean, I think. Yeah, I think so. Don't think there's a icon princess. I'm sure there's not. Because there was after Sky, there was Discovery, wasn't there? Yeah. And now this new one, Sun. Um, so. Now, there are adult-only areas on the ship, uh, so it's not just for kids, the Sun Princess. It's, um, it's quite a ship with a lot of good things going for it. But I feel for some of the passengers that are on this inaugural cruise, you know, they've paid a lot of money. And the theatre isn't open because it's a technical problem with the lighting. So there are no shows. Uh, I mean, they're doing their best. They're putting on a lot of stuff. The The atrium on there is much bigger than anything we've seen on any of the ships the, in the middle, you know, where they do entertainment. 
and they're putting stuff on there, but you can't get 5,000 passengers around an atrium to watch things happening. So presumably Pete, not everybody is. Linda from them. Florida, just got off the phone and going on Sky Princess in December. You'll enjoy that. It's one of our favourite ships, isn't it? Yeah, it's this lovely ship. Sky and Regal, ship. I think, from Princess. Regal's lovely as well. They're yeah. the larger one, larger for us. But I also think, um, I like Island Princess, which is smaller. And it's an old ship. Yeah. But wasn't she going in for a refit or something well, after we yeah. were on it? She was going in for a, for a tidy up and a refit, so... Um, yeah, it's, uh, but there's some things that aren't on Ireland. David and Sally, my debt. One day my son may be entering you both on a cruise. May be entering us on a cruise. Don't quite follow that, Heather. Uh, Oh, you went last December, Linda. Right, well, oh. it's about time. About time you about went again. again. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. Two times the sun was cancelled. Yeah, it, it was. And it did eventually sail, but still not ready. The, it's not just the, what we call a the theatre, but they've renamed it. It's got a new name. They don't call it the theatre on board now. Uh, can't remember what the new name is. But they've renamed a lot of familiar places. Like there's no buffet, or it's not called a buffet, no Horizon Grill. It's all no, rebranded as... Yeah, Horizon Courtman. It's all rebranded as the eatery. And, and I must admit, some of the photographs we've seen... It, unlike Horizon Court, where it's very much, you know, um, tables that are wiped clean and stuff, they yeah. actually had tablecloths on, on the tables. And so whether yeah. or not they've actually stopped um, any buffet being able to go up and help yourselves or whether it's service, no, I don't know. But it looked, it but looked very in good. the eatery, which is what used to be Horizon Court, uh, every day they have a different country's food on. And Monica and Neil, who I follow, and they're on there at the moment, they've put up photographs of the Mongolian food. Uh, oh, it looked amazing, really did look amazing. Yeah. Yeah, but they have obviously all the new stuff as well. Yes, him says she's done a lot of travelling, but never done a cruise. You'll have to in the future. They are really good fun, Yeshim. There is entertainment of all different types for all different age groups. Um, and you're in a different port every day, unless it's a sea day. Uh, I think most people would enjoy it. Mm. You know, uh, we just like the cruising experience. Absolutely love it. Waking up in a different port, but being at sea is terrific. And if you want to spend a few hours being pampered and having a massage or um, uh, going to the gym or whatever you want to do, you can, it's all there. Everything's there for you. Yeah. So come and join us in August. Uh, we're on Sky Princess, sailing the Mediterranean Islands. Yeah. There you go. Well, we've we've done it. We've done the Med before, haven't we? Many Years times. Ago. Many times but we've done the Med. But on quite small ships, but we're doing it on Sky. And it's out of Southampton, so we haven't got to fly anywhere. And it's got a fantastic captain on Sky. Well, I mean, they're all good, but he's one of my favourites. Well, only because he's your friend on Facebook. Yeah, he's a good guy. You, know, you follow he's him a with really his photographs and he follows your photo. Not only is he the captain of a ship, he also is a qualified pilot and he takes his family up in the air and he is also, I don't know whether he owns or rents a boat, but uh, he, he's, a, 
a really interesting guy to follow. But I'm envious of uh, Heike, Captain Heike, having an interest in photography um, because he puts up the most amazing sunrise and sunset photos from the, bridge. from the bridge, showing the instruments on the bridge with the sunrise or sunset in the background. Fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Right, let me just read a few more of these comments. Uh, yeah, Icon of the Seas, Foxy, Hazel. Hazel McKay, you may remember last year I told you we were going to be joining a ship on the 1st of November for a three-year cruise. Oh, my word. It was delayed for a year, so we will join them this November. Three years on a cruise ship. I mean, I'm sure... That it, is unbelievable. It will be, but when you, when you eventually get home... When you eventually get back after three years, you won't be able to walk straight. You'll be <laughs> feeling like you're on water all the time. Gosh. Mm. Oh, Glenn, you're prying minds. Right now, it makes sense. What? He bought the... Glenn, this is Glenn, Glenn from Vancouver. Yeah. He bought the Insta360. Oh, I yeah. have been looking. And you really are experimenting well with it. Uh, I like what you're doing. You're more adventurous than I am, Glenn. Definitely, with yeah. the camera. Got some great shots with it in China. Doing a transatlantic in the fall out of Southampton. So you're going to be in the UK. That's a long we, way from here. It's a hell of a long way, but so what? Mm. Uh, if you come to Vancouver, I'll get you out again, Glenn. Oh, that, that day... That, it was. That, We've talked about we, that. A lot. That when you took us out, I mean, put the hand it, out and the birds. Literally the having the birds feeding off my hand, I mean, it was yeah. just lovely. I really enjoyed it. It's just a shame yeah. I was not well that you day. Weren't well, right. <coughs> yeah, thank you for putting up those videos and uh, and the photographs, Glenn. Really have appreciated them as well as well. You know from the comments you've received. Yeah. Uh, I've heard many seniors do long cruises, cheaper than owning a home, everything's done for you. Yeah, I totally get that. But what happens at the end of the three years? If you haven't got a home, what do you do when you come back? Go on another cruise? You know, I, I read very recently that uh, a couple sold up and they have literally purchased a cabin for the rest of their lives on a ship for that very reason. What mm. happens if the ship, well, I don't know. It, as you're getting older, you need the peace of mind. At least I certainly do. And if I had a serious illness, for instance, if you were sailing between Los Angeles and Hawaii, and you had a heart attack, helicopters can't get to you. Oh, they can only go about two and a half, two and a half thousand, two yeah. and a half hours or something out, and you could be as much as um, four or five hours <laughs> away. Yeah, yeah, we 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 figured that out when we were on that cruise we at that did. time, and we said we did. if we're coming back to Hawaii, we will fly in because we felt that we were just out of reach. Yeah, just a bit too vulnerable. Yeah, um, but uh, I think we've done the right thing coming here, haven't we? We've, yeah, we've we're now um, close to amenities. We're close to the doctors. The not far from hospitals. Not that we think that way all the time, because we don't. But uh, shops and stuff, and we're um, and it is very easy to maintain as well. So yeah, Yeshim says it sounds like you know should be swaying from side to side after three years on well, the boat. Well, that exactly. You're yeah, but the thing is, line, <laughs> you you won't be swaying on the boat because you get used to stabilising. It's when you get so off. It's. You've only got to get off, I mean, on a seven-day cruise and you go into port. 
you feel it that you know you're on land. And, some, and that first night <laughs> when you get into bed and you're lying there and you're yeah. thinking, is this bed moving or not moving? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is wonderful. It's a fa fabulous experience. I do sleep well on, on a cruise because it keeps me asleep and it rocks me off. Rougher the better when I'm in bed. But uh, I don't like walking around the ship when it's uh, really rough. John, when he retires, he's going to sell his flat and live in a posh caravan and travel a lot. Because you can't really tow a caravan in some of the places no, you may want to go. No, but you put it onto a site and you've got your vehicle then, haven't you? True. I think some, maybe some of the best ones, I mean, not that I've ever been in one, but these um, uh, fifth wheel things where you've got your truck and you've got the uh, the large van behind you that you just put the legs down and off you go. God, you bring back memories here, Sharon, Sharon Root. Uh, we might consider being full-time RVers at some point as none of our children live near each other. We must just we might just drive our home, drive our home, and stay near each of the three for a few. Now, who no, were the couple? Joy and Dave. Joy and Dave. Yes. We used to spend a lot of time. They were our neighbours in Florida, mm. and uh, and they're still going. She's in her eighties now. And that's exactly what they did. When her mum passed away, they sold up both her mum's place and her their own home. And uh, they bought an RV and they travel all over America and are still doing it. And th I'm going back probably, what, five or six years? Oh, they've been on the road. Yeah, I'm saying yeah. easily eat more than that, I think, maybe now. They, and we um, met them, didn't we? Met we? Them in Part Florida. of the they way were down through. in Florida and we went and had lunch yeah. with them, didn't we? The, and at Rusty Bellies. <laughs> we met them at Rusty Bellies, that's right. That's where he introduced me to the shrimp paste. Um, I think they used to tow a car behind them as well because they they had they got it on a site somewhere and uh, they towed a small car behind. Yeah. Yeah, I keep getting the ads as well. Really annoying. Oh, you've got a fifth wheel, Sharon. So we don't we don't have these in the UK. You just don't. Well, well, we don't really have. No, we don't have them here. And they're too big. I mean, they, they yeah. and the 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 gas prices are so high here that you just can't and you can't afford to to run them. Basically, um, but uh, and hopefully, when we come over to Florida, we'll. Come and have come and see your home in in uh, your 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 fifth wheel. It yeah. looks amazing. Oh, we will. If you're down uh, in when are we going? Well, we're going November. the thirtieth of October, aren't we? Yeah. Until the middle of November. So if you're down there, we will definitely meet up for a meal or two without any doubt at all. Yeah, that would be something to look forward to. Uh, for us to look forward to. Not saying you're going to look forward to it, but we, <laughs> might we not, will. Might not want us to come. <laughs> Lynn, the traffic in Florida is terrible nowadays. So many people moving here. You can't blame them. We loved it there. We absolutely fabulous, loved it. Fabulous state to live in. Absolutely um, fabulous. But, uh, yeah, it's just a boy if we were there in the summertime boy did it rain it rained and it oh. was very very hot in, in occasionally the we we did stay we were there for july 4th a couple of times and then uh then we used to get the rains <laughs> oh but good god hazel so you've rented your house out to some very good tenants and put all your stuff into storage we'll be 78 and 74 when we come back it's our time to go. We have to accept God's will and not fight it. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> yeah, good on you. 
Oh, so at least they've got a home to come back to. That's yeah. the main thing. Yeah. I better not tell you about when we rented out our home. We had two homes in Florida, oh, and we rented yeah. out one. And oh, to a little old lady and her daughter, they wrecked it. Absolutely. Oh, it was true. Had to evict them. Tried. Had to evict them. Can you believe this? Uh, repossessed her car because they wouldn't pay, uh, couldn't pay the rent. So I repossessed her car. Felt dreadful. But there we are. And then they did Not a runner. Not all tenants are good. And then they did a runner in the did middle of the night. The Quite night. literally did a runner. Mm. Uh, well, I want to go back and just see this. Tim and I are planning to be in Florida at least part of the time you're here. Must have a rusty belly and breakfast station meet up. Might even introduce you to somewhere where you have not yet been. Yeah. Like where? To, They've but, been all over. I'll guarantee. Okay, so you've been all over. Sharon and Tim, have you been to the covered uh, the covered bridge restaurant? Bet they haven't. Have you been to Emily's Kitchen? Bet the they covered haven't. Covered bridge. The covered bridge. Well, we've never Fab been there. Yeah, we damn well have. They do a really good breakfast. Really good breakfast. Really? And Emily's Kitchen out near, um, oh, well, we used to go to church. I can't remember the place now. Beyond Palm Harbour. Uh, Kathy, Niagara Falls today. Yeah, it's fabulous. That was a really good yeah. visit that day, wasn't it? It was lovely. Well, it wasn't more than a day. I think we had about three days at night. It was quite Falls. cold, though, wasn't it? Because remember, <clears> there was snow on the other side, wasn't there? Yeah. Ice on the... Uh, we could see the uh, smaller falls on the other side were iced up. OK. So, Don, full-time cruising seems great until you get too <coughs> old or too ill to look after yourself. <coughs> Sorry, yeah. it went down the wrong way. Yeah, that is the problem. The older you get, the more difficult it will get at sea. Yeah. Well, our, our problem now is mobility. You're on the best side of the falls, Heather, without a doubt. The Canadian side is uh, far more picturesque than the American side. But we had a terrible, terrible uh, confrontation, didn't we? We'd driven up there. We decided to take a couple of weeks out. We had a had a car and we, we drove up from Florida. Yeah. And we went to visit friends that live in Canada. And we spent a couple of nights by Niagara. And when we went back, and we, we had a convertible. And on the back seat, we had a big cool box with water and stuff in it. And we got the, the roof down and uh, we pulled in and the guy on the uh, American guy that, to let us back into the States put us through hell. Why were we, where had we come from? What were we doing over there? All the other things, you know, they were going on about why would we, have, we couldn't possibly have our own car. We had our own car. We used to leave it there in Florida. And um, why, if we were English, did we have our own car? Why we weren't in a rental, this, that and the other? And then demanded to get in and see if we had any guns stashed in the um, cool box on the back seat. But he was very unpleasant, extremely unpleasant. I mean, we laughed about it afterwards, but it was quite... We were, we were there a while, weren't we? Yeah. It kept us waiting a long time. And, his, and his big thing was... Why did you need to go into Canada to see the falls when you can see them from this side? And we both said, because it's a dark side better on the other yeah. side. He was a... He was... He was doing his job, nice because the real jobs were... He, he really, really was. was not. We call them over here when you get people that are doing jobs just for the sake of doing jobs. Yeah. He was doing his job. But, but he wasn't very nice, no. Karen B. I love your username. 
tall blonde mermaid. Ooh. <laughs> That's really lovely, that. <coughs> uh, can't wait to run into you both either in Pasco or on a cruise ship one day. Uh, you live in Land of Lakes. We've been through oh, there Land so yes. many times. Yes, it's lovely. Oh, I'm well, not going to say on a daily basis. We'll be very close to there. But yeah. Yeah, let's make it happen. I'd love to take you out to the Great Catch in Zephyr Hills. That's not where... Tony lives out that way, doesn't he? From Zephyr. Or Bayport. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, let's do it. One, when you rem nearer November, when we're going to be there, you know, let's, let's put something together Well, we haven't decided it. where we're going to stay yet, so... We've got our flights booked, but we into Tampa, but we haven't decided uh, where we're going to stay, whether we're going to go Airbnb or hotel or whatever at the moment. Do I like polished food? When you're going to Crepe and Spring Hill, the decorative... Polish food. That's correct. Polish Not food. Not polished food. <laughs> No, I've never had Polish food. I did realise that. I did. <laughs> yeah, of course you did. <laughs> <laughs> Morning, Deborah from Cape Cod. Uh, Tracy in Canada. Hi, how you doing? Yes, sir, Lordy, aren't you the COVID people? Do you still have COVID? Well, <laughs> that's debatable. <laughs> yeah, we are the COVID people, <laughs> along with millions of others Other. across this globe. Yeah. We wouldn't have been allowed back in the country if we still had COVID. But I've had it since anyway. Football crazy. Are you still in contact with Louise? Not at the moment. She's she's not on a plate at the moment. She's doing a lot of house um, things, you know, kitchen and bathroom and stuff like that. She's very busy. So we hear from her occasionally, not very often. Uh, you're quite correct, Yeshim. Have I said that right? Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was in 2020. I don't think they have it four years later. And we are so inoculated. Oh, ridiculous. I'm up to my but, seventh or but eighth I do, inoculation. I do, think, I do think, though, that both of us, since having had it, we've had things that we perhaps wouldn't have had if we hadn't had it. You know, I mean, it's... It knocks your immunity and I just, we've both got so many aches and pains, it's ridiculous. Hey, Sharon, are you reading the comments from, uh, I can't remember her name, but Tall Blonde Mermaid, Bayport Inn Restaurant in Weeki Wachi. That Weeki is Wachi. a place we love, Weeki Uh and that's where we would go out on the kayaks. Um Breakfast, drive up to Brooksville, Cracker Kitchen. Is that Cracker Barrel Kitchen or or is it something different? Because we do like Cracker Barrel, don't we? Love Cracker Barrel, Sunday lunch especially, yeah. Yeah, they do the, do the fried chicken on a Sunday, don't they? <laughs> so delicious <laughs> and the service is sweet, that is me and that is us as well. It really <laughs> is. Yeah, my favourite meal of the day Anywhere in the world is breakfast. It's definitely breakfast. My favourite meal. And all he gets here is a bowl of cornflakes or a bowl of... At the moment, he's going through... Although he's diabetic, he's got a thing about mm. Frosties, sugar-coated um, flakes. And that's all he's been having for about... Ooh, a couple of months now, isn't it? Shouldn't tell him that. Well, you do, but his sugars are fine. They are. They're very, really good. If they start to go up, they're going in the bin. Yeah. 
Well done, Heather. Well done, Heather what? She's deleted a comment. Oh. Who the hell was being rude, Jazza, for goodness sake? Nobody was being rude. If you can't take a reply, you know, this isn't the channel for you to be on. Really isn't. So don't be so bloody sensitive. Foxy and his classic cars. Foxy's into classic cars? Oh God, he goes nearly every Sunday oh. to a classic show. Do you drive, Foxy? Or you just go and take no. photographs? No, he goes with his mate David, another David, and uh, he, he just he goes to loads of them, loads. Oh. oh, you see, you should go to Florida. They do some amazing, amazing uh, car places <laughs> out there that you can go around. We used, to, we used to go every weekend to something, didn't we? Oh, the... People would turn up and have breakfast at places and all the classic cars would be there. Um, fabulous. We were lucky to have each other in the Japanese hospital. Blooming well were. Really were. That's the only time you've appreciated me for a long time. Well, <laughs> both hospitals we were in, they wanted us in our own rooms, private rooms, you know, single rooms, whatever you call it. And she refused, uh, insisted that we had a second bed brought in to a room that was really just for one bed. So we had two beds in there so we could be together. Well, the first one, the first hospital, that one, we were only there that one night, weren't we? You couldn't stand between the two beds and push together, it was so tight. Second one, the room was big enough for two beds, but... Uh, because they said, oh, you'll be in the next door room. And I said, yeah, but you're not going to let me out of my room to go and check on him. And he was much more sick than I was, so I wasn't going to have him in another room. Oh, the strawberry festival's on. That again, oh, I love the strawberry when is it festival. On now? It's on today. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, so it'll be the week. Yeah, who did we oh. see? We saw, um, oh, What's some very name? famous. But yeah, some really good acts that were on. Um, I love that. What was her name? But do you remember those strawberry cheesecakes? And, oh, oh, yeah. God. Yeah, very good. <laughs> very good. I love Florida. Yeah. I was yeah. definitely born in the wrong country. <laughs> no, I was. Oh, I would, no, we, we did I'd enjoy love it to when have we were there. But, in America. but then, you know, we had, there was the other issues that obviously when we were out there, we had. Ten years where we were basically there six months of the year nearly. Yeah. Um, was the fact that we missed out on the grandchildren. You know, they were... Well, they, you did. No, Dave, yes, I did. Um, if I complained and said, look, we, we went one time, we were gone for five months. Didn't see them for five months, the, 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 the family. And the, the grandchildren were quite young at that time. And he, he just said... You've got a picture over there on the table. And uh, make do with that. In fact, we never, that photograph got lost. We never got that back. <coughs> uh, Pamela is saying hello to you, Sam. Hi, Pamela. Any thoughts of a group reunion meetup? Not at the moment i will put my head together and try it it would be lovely if we could get some of our american canadian australian folk over to the uk and do a cruise that would be really nice uh but yeah, i'll try and do something for the uk people All right, Pud. Well, hello, Jimmy. <laughs> oh. 
You you really are having a whale of a time at the moment, aren't you, matey? I was in here. Uh, yeah, some saying. <clears throat> Two weeks in India. Three meals a day of curries and vegetarian food. Yeah, that... Yeah, good on you. You know, it's it's really good when you can travel the world. But that was work, wasn't it? Jimmy doesn't know what work is. <laughs> Stop it. No, he'll do anything to travel. He joins a company, <laughs> pretends to work, and just travels the world. And if it's on a cruise ship, all the better for Jimmy. Yeah. Am I speaking the truth? Am I? <laughs> yeah. Uh, will, when you go to Florida, first couple of weeks in November, we'll be in Florida, Pamela. What's Jimmy say? What? What's that? Yeah. <laughs> the cat is out of the bag. Meow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think. I think that's got us up to date, more or less. No, Foxy, he's just finished India. He's just come back from India. You've got to keep up with the conversation, mate. <laughs> and before that, he was in the UK. Because he came to see us. <laughs> yeah, tremendous. Absolutely tremendous. OK, so I th we've cleared the back and Sukan here off clock as well. Beautiful clock. Uh, I don't. I don't even hear it now. I can't hear it when I concentrate and look at it. It's a very quiet tick. But um, and and when it it does chime, but it's so quiet, you can't hear it at all. Just a little tinkle. Right. You know what the time is, don't you? Oh, time for a coffee. reach it. Adaris, good morning to you. Swaley. Yeah, we are. We're in our new place now. We've been in well, we've been a in month. Since, well, we're now at the end of February, beginning of March, aren't we? We've been in for since before Christmas. We didn't, we didn't move in until after Christmas, but we've had the keys since for two and a half months now, yeah. Yeah, so, so you're correct. <clears throat> America is the only place I drink my coffee hot, because coffee out there is good. I like their coffee. I like Waffle House coffee especially. <laughs> but I drink it cold here in the UK. It absolutely drives me to distraction. I make him a coffee, and if I say anything, I'm nagging. Have you drunk your coffee? Yes, I'll drink it in a minute. But then there's the other times when I'll say to him after an hour, did you drink your coffee? I didn't know there was one there. And it was already cold. Because I forget. Know, but he still drinks it cold. Yeah. And tea. Why is that ring thing up on the top there? It's telling us. We've got one of these doorbells that... No, it's not a doorbell. It's our security it's camera. camera telling me that somebody is daring to walk past our front door. Yeah, but that's been up for ages. You can't be walking backwards and forwards. See, look, it's there again now. Somebody's obviously standing there just... Oh, yeah. Are you back? Right. Oh. Right, if it comes up again, we just leave it. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so have I missed anything out? Stuart Boswell, hi, how are you doing? Uh, come to New Zealand for some really good coffee. Jimmy, we really did enjoy your coffees. Thank you very much indeed. That was a most appreciated gift. And I will try and find... Uh, somewhere where we can get them in the UK 
Somebody must be importing them, I would have thought. Oh, we have something similar, but no, not, not as nice as ones. <laughs> Tracy, my plants are doing fantastic. Oh, it's a real takeover. Yeah. Uh, my tomatoes, they are a couple of foot high now, the tomato plants. It's but the flowers are doing superb. Uh, yeah. I would think in another seven to ten days I'll have a lot of blooms to show and they will be... I won't need to buy any lettuce this year. They're not flowers. No, but the lettuces are coming through all the time. I don't know what type of lettuce it is. It's, they look more like... Um, well, they're sort of feathery. Um, it's not like an, the lettuce I normally buy. So, of course, now... It's lunch times. I've got to sort of do something. I can put lettuce in a sandwich or something like that. Today, I made egg mayonnaise yesterday. And we've got leftover egg mayonnaise today with his lettuce. See, And he's actually eating it. He doesn't normally eat anything that's Normally, green. I don't eat veggies at all. But because I've grown it, I've got an interest in it. And it's a bit like being a cannibal, isn't it? You're eating it. Bit like being a cannibal. Well, yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> it's family, isn't it? It's family because I've grown it, so I'm eating it. Yeah. So he keeps saying, oh, "I've got more lettuce. I need to cut some more off for you." And then, and and he's only growing it in these little tiny pots. He's got two two plants. That's all, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And as masses, there's enough to have a decent salad every day. Yeah. So. Uh, <laughs> Heather says she's so proud of my gardening skills. <laughs> it, I wouldn't say it's real gardening. It's all hyper, all growing in water. Most of it, most of it's in water. Um, Sue, I'm not sure whether I saw your comment about Downton Abbey. No, I didn't. Didn't know you did that. Hope to visit that castle sometime this year. I think it's near Daventry. No, it's no, not. No, it's not. That was four miles away. Long. Miles away. Um, well, well, I'm trying it's to think. Highclere, where, isn't it's Highclere, is it? High, it's Highclere Castle. That's the name of, of the Downton Abbey itself. And the village is not by the castle. Nowhere near it. The village is not that far from Two Daventry. hour drive away. Yeah, but where was <laughs> the village? The, the village is very close to Oxford. Bam, bam, it's either Bampton, Bampton or Brampton, but close to Oxford. Mm. And uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. I did. Because you days. never, you never went to um, Highclere. Highclere. No. He never went near what was, was Downton Abbey. He just went to the village. But I couldn't believe it when we were watching it last night. Downton was on, and. Uh, saw myself walk out of the church and I said can we just rewind that and that's what I videoed just five seconds of so folk could see me coming out of the church a cloth cap on my head and you were clean shaven and weren't clean you? shaven and I was they gave me a walking stick I didn't need one then you but wouldn't they gave now. I would now but they gave me a walking stick and I had to pretend to be a really old man um <clears throat> and you weren't that old there's then. no more pretense these days <laughs> no. uh, but what you never saw on that clip, I mean, everybody thinks the sun shines out of Maggie Smith's. She is a very talented actress. Well, what you didn't see is it had been raining hard and there was a big puddle just outside the entrance to that church. And uh, she slipped and was going to go head first into the puddle and I caught her. Not on camera, there you go, but that, that's it. So I've out. handled her. I've handled <laughs> her. Um, yeah. I mean, but we've, I don't know why, but we've just suddenly got this thing at the moment. There's not been a lot on TV. And so we went on to Netflix and we've been watching Downton Abbey right from the beginning. And we're just binge watching it in the evenings. We'll watch two or three episodes. And um, I don't think I really realised, and I don't think you did either, 
that Maggie Smith actually is a very funny lady. She is. And I know she's reading, she's learned a script, but it's the way she puts it across. And some of the things that she comes out with, you, you, you just can't help but belly laugh. You really can't. It's hilarious. You, you're waiting for the next pun to come out for her to say something, really. Yeah. And uh, she's, she's very, very clever. Yeah. It was, it was good fun to be in. Um, and what you, <coughs> yeah, it, it's seeing the village, all the front doors that are on the little cottage houses at Downton outside of the church, opposite the church, they're not their doors at all. They put false doors on to make it look more interesting. And the hospital isn't the hospital, it's a village library. And they just put a different sign up. And when you walk through, let's say, the, the hospital stroke library into the garden, that's where all the catering vans were for the stars to have their food. Now, the extras, me, <coughs> we are not considered stars. So we always had to wait and let the real stars eat their food first before we go and get our food but there was always plenty and it was top notch food it really was they said scampi one day mm. and I'm, I'm a real scampi lover um but yeah it was really good and you're instructed well we were instructed you do not talk to the stars unless they talk to you so when she fell and I caught her, she didn't speak to me. She didn't say thank you. So I just let go and she got soaked. Now I'm fibbing, but she no, didn't say thank she you. She didn't say thank you. No. She didn't. Because uh... they do treat the extras. They don't call them extras anymore. They're called supporting artists. <laughs> so on Downton Abbey, I was a supporting support. artist. And you certainly supported her. And I did her. support her, yeah. Uh, but they're not interested. <coughs> they're not interested in having conversations with anybody. You, didn't you speak to um, uh, Penny, Penelope Walton? Yeah, but she spends most of her time with... Maggie Smith. Maggie Smith yeah. So when we were inside the church, which you didn't see on last night's episode, inside the church, they were practicing their line. I was sitting <coughs> right behind them, so I could hear every word that's being said. And uh, <clears throat> they were practicing the lines for a completely different scene that was coming up. Um, yeah. But anyway. Uh, Penny Lope, yeah. <laughs> Penelope. God, I did that in a real wedding. You did, didn't Penny you? Penny Lope. Called the, called so it the shows you were Penny listening, Lope. yes, Jim. It shows you were listening last time. Yeah, could refer to and it was on video, Penny Lope. Couldn't believe it. Mm. Yeah. I've done that a couple of times in weddings where I've used the wrong name well it's not it's just the wrong pronunciation yeah but what i called the the groom a name that wasn't his in the american couple oh i can't remember now but yeah when something else comes into my mind a worse one still one of my celebrants melanie oh, that was dreadful she was <coughs> she was conducting a funeral uh, in Coventry, two crematoriums at Coventry. No, one crematorium, two chapels. So they're literally back to back. So one service will start at 10, the other chapel starts at 10.15. So they're... <coughs> I was in, let's say, the 10 o'clock and Mel was in the 10.15. And... It would have been later, so it would have been something like 11.30, 11.45, because we said, 
after we've finished both our services, let's go and have a coffee. And we went to Costa. Well, it didn't matter where you went. You went and had coffee. No, hang on. I'm getting the story wrong. We met for a coffee before the funeral. Yeah, we met for the coffee before the funeral. So it's always great catching up with folk that you know. And <clears throat> I call her Mel, she called me Dave. She takes the funeral service and the person that had died, his name was, let's say, Peter. And in the service, she referred to him as Dave because I was fresh on her mind. Yeah, terrible. So when I taught celebrants how to conduct a funeral ceremony, I always taught them a mantra that I go through on my journey to the burial ground or the crematorium. So I'm alone in the car and as I'm driving there, I don't have the radio on and I just keep repeating that person's name over and over. Dave Abel, Dave Abel, Dave Abel. So that when I get there, I've only got one name on my mind, Dave Abel. Well, so I hope, not, not hope gonna... it's whoever, not Dave Abel. No, but you know what I mean? I just That was a mantra that I went through to impregnate my mind with the deceased's name. But the other thing is that she was doing two on the same day, and that doesn't help. <clears throat> it's too much. So your brother Chris, this is John Riley. He was an extra in Downton when they were filming up in Northumberland. Oh, terrific. Oh, you enjoyed it, didn't you? you I did enjoy it. You did a couple of... Well, got, there's another episode where you're sitting by the milk churns, but yeah. I haven't come across that one yet. But um, you did it a couple of days and you got chatting to... Got on very well with the a guy from the village, didn't you? That lived in the village because they they offer it Was to that the, Danny. The guy he had the bicycle. He rode the bicycle. Didn't yeah, he? Danny, I think his name was. And um, they offer it to the villagers first, and then if they need any extra ones, then they call them in. But we also, when we first moved up. Um, this is going back a oh, long time ago, over 30 years ago, there was a TV programme. We, we lived in, in, um, in a village just outside of Banbury in Oxfordshire. And they had done a... There was a programme on the TV, and I can't remember what the drama was called. Um, and they'd taken over the whole village, and they built... A set in the village square mm. with different houses in front of all the houses and shops in the village to make it look totally different. Yeah. And they'd used our church hall, hadn't they? They had. Um, as um, a, a, a hall for um, uh, having meetings and stuff like that. And it, it was, uh, it, the, the whole village was, but we, we weren't living there at the time. We moved in a few weeks later. Um, and heard all about it. And then the other one is the, I don't know if any of you in the UK, you've se seen the, the post office drama. If you haven't seen it, watch it, because it's really, really Mr. Good. Bates. Mr. Yeah, Mr. Bates, the, the, the post office thing. And the village hall that they used in there for when they get everybody together, all the different uh, We people. have our 590 people. Yeah, yeah. Is, is in Fenny Compton, which, which is just is down the road down from the us. road from where we were living before we moved yeah. up, up here. Near where and we a pub up. that we used to really enjoy, the Wharf Inn, it's yeah, just down the road just, from the Wharf. Yeah, by the, and because we used to go through there on the boat. Um, yeah. So, uh, so Sue is asking, how did I get the part? My agent. I had an age, well, I had three agents that I worked with. So I did all sorts of, um, I can't even remember half of them now, but one of, the, one of the fun ones was taking Sal with me when it was the Alan Titchmarsh show on TV. Oh, yeah, yeah. And again, this all came <coughs> through my agent. And uh, 
It was a, a makeover, a total wasn't it? makeover mm. on the TV with Alan Titchmarsh and yeah. what's her name? Um, I can't remember her name. The, the the girl that was on there with him, but um, yeah, and I went along as well, and we. Mylene Class. Mylene Class, yeah, yeah, she was on it, and they interviewed me on stage and two other people, um, and then David and their partners had makeovers and it was it was it was we had a really really good day really great day didn't we yeah yeah um so yeah so i've done quite a bit but it was it was all about meeting people i wanted to try to meet as many uh celebrity folk as i could and to promote your weddings to promote my weddings yeah so, a bit naughty, isn't it? But there we go. Yeah, but it, 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 uh, you did a, a few, didn't you? I've done a couple of very, very interesting ones, yeah. Yeah. I wish to God I could remember their names. Well, Pauline, you did Pauline. Pauline Quirk. <coughs> that was a, that was a vow renewal. That's 11 her year, home. 11 year vow renewal at home. With virtually all the Emmerdale cast were there. Um, that was really interesting. And you did a wedding down at Blenheim where the entire, uh, all the people that were there, none of them could speak any English at all. They were all Chinese, Chinese yeah. except for one person, yeah. Gok. Yeah. Gok was there. He was, yeah. it was some of his family or re relations of some kind. And he was the only person in the entire service that could speak English. <laughs> yeah, so everything was done through a... An interpreter. An interpreter, yeah. Mm. And then you met... Yeah. Um, you did the, the footballer one where you met oh, Simon Cowell. Lord. Yeah. They all came in on a bus, didn't they? No, that wasn't the footballer one. Well, that was, was the girl that came to our home. Oh, that's right, yeah. From she America, was the producer, producer of... Of American Idol. She was the producer of American Idol. She was a Brit, but American. You know, been living out there for years and years. Her dad is still living in the UK. And, and she uh, was getting married in the UK. And she wanted to get married in the UK. And um, she, she and her husband, he was a big wig in, I can't remember now. No, I can't remember. But they were both very moneyed individuals. But they all came, all the guests came they in. They rented a jumbo jet and filled it with their guests and came into uh, London Heathrow, where they then had double-decker buses to take them to the hotel in London. And then those double-decker buses took them to the country hotel where they had the wedding. And uh, Simon Cowell, well, the, all of the judges... With her. A whole you lot with her. You had a chat with Simon, didn't it, you? I mean, it was a very, very interesting... You know, one of the interesting things of my life, really, the people that I have met that you didn't expect to. But there was another one. I did a, a wedding of a Premier League football player, Stoke City, and his name is Matthew Etherington. He was the bridegroom. And... Uh, his best man, who was a forward striker, or whatever you call them, I, I don't follow football, so it really was wasted on me, the football part of it. But his best man was this forward, uh, another Matthew. And we were waiting, this is two minutes before the ceremony commences, and it was outdoors, and it was a beautiful sunny day. And... <clears throat> Literally two minutes before the ceremony starts, I've got the bridegroom and the best man standing next to me. And the bridegroom noticed my watch. And I was wearing a gold Rolex. And in those days, I say, I'm not now. The Rolex is in a drawer. I'm wearing just a... I can't remember. A it's a iPhone smartphone. Watch, smartphone, iPhone, yeah. IPhone, but when I was really in my heyday i used to give myself awards or rewards to as 
little gifts to myself to appreciate. So I bought this blooming Rolex and it's a beautiful thing. And he noticed it, the best man, and he commented on it. So <laughs> he said, what do you think of mine then? And he'd got a Rolex, but it was a completely different model to mine. And then the bridegroom, Matthew Etherington, he said, well, what about mine? And he was wearing, <laughs> and the three of us are there all looking at our watches. And the official photographer took the, took photo. the photograph and it was the perfect timed photo to, it should have had the caption, you know, is the bride late? It was perfect timing, uh, but it was all materialistic. And she was wearing uh, a Vera Wang wedding dress, uh, quite expensive. And they'd had all of the crockery, the china, specially made for them with their crest on, uh, that the money that went into it, at that time, it was the most expensive budget wedding I'd ever conducted. And I think it was something from memory about £250,000. You know, since then, I've done one that was a £2 million budget. And that's another story. But and that was on TV, the whole of the wedding televised on Channel 4. That was good, wasn't it? Cliveton House. Cliveton. Cliveton, Cliveton House. House, yeah. Whatever. But coming back to this Matthews wedding, at that time, it just really spoke of money, 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 money. And the dog had a diamond studded collar. Uh, <laughs> it was totally, totally unreal for me. Now we've got the adverts on, so I'm just gonna chat for a minute while the blinking adverts are on. You can skip the adverts. Right, so <clears throat> welcome back. So the following week, Literally seven days later, there was another wedding which was completely the opposite to what I had done the week earlier. And it was in the Forest of Dean. Oh dear. And it was a nudist wedding. Okay. I hasten to add, he was not nude. <laughs> it was a nudist wedding. <coughs> and <clears throat> cheers, Sharon. Nudist wedding. So there was no expensive Vera Wang dress. There was no £20,000 wedding cake. They had homemade cupcakes. And it was just completely different showing. Well, the one thing that shone through was the love that this couple had for each other. Because there was nothing else that could get in the way. It just showed their natural love for each other, which was really lovely. Jo, oh, I'm talking too much. You are, and it's now way past one o'clock. We've been on for over an hour. Yeah, we have. Okay, well, you know what I'm going to say, don't you? Do I still invest with Bitcoin? I don't invest in it, I do scalp trading. So, uh, I'm still involved with it, yes, but not like a normal investment. I do it, when I go on to it, it might only be for 10 minutes and I'll either do an upward or a downward and just take a very quick profit, um, scalp trading. And I also do the same with horses. So I'm really, I don't want anyone to think I'm a gambler because I don't believe I am, but I love the horse racing and for the first time in my life, I've had a lot more time to be able to focus uh, my mind on what I'm doing with the horses. And I haven't made a loss in like six weeks, which is really unusual. <laughs> so yeah, making a profit on a daily basis, which is really good. Okay, well, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> right, so I'm going to say goodbye to you mm -hmm. all. Have a powerful month ahead of you, but you've got the week to get through first, so 
Have a brilliant week, everybody, and see you on the 1st of April. Is it first actually, Sunday of April. First Sunday of April. I don't know what the actual date is. So thank you to Heather and Yeshim for moderating. Very much appreciate that. Lovely to have had your company. And bye for now. <sighs> don't. What? So no, we're don't. off her now. Wasn't we're that not boring? Off and you do Wasn't this. that boring? You do this every time. Stop it. <laughs> no, we are going. Okay. Bye all. Take care. God bless.